Hi, welcome to this upgrading video. I've already made an upgrade video to get from 6.7.1 to 6.8.1. Maybe you've already found it and you've followed it. I'm going to make a new one starting from 6.7.1 to 6.8.2 because some things happened these last days that it was necessary to build a new ISO. Every information you require, you need, you want to check out this website, this link. So here it says again, Erica Linux has three main parts and maybe you've seen the image on uh, Google Plus and we are 80, 90% Arch and the rest is Erica Linux and AOR. So we have uh, information here available for you. We have different faces you can check out. Uh, different websites and forum, YouTube and a Discord channel. And at the bottom you'll find the information about the latest release. And this is what we need to go to. So what happened? We have a 6.7.1 and there is a new version every month. We, we keep on working daily and every month we release the latest, uh, newest things. Often it means just do nothing, but this time you'll have to do some manual work. Uh, updating is in two steps and all the way down I've um, made a summary of that all the way down is here upgrading in Article Linux boils down to two main actions you copy paste everything from etc scal to your own home directory and you keep updating now you can't update something that you never installed so sometimes you need to install a new package since we have now in 6.8.2, we've uh, made two, three, four new packages. So yeah, we have to install those and uh, as well the new packages in 6.8.1. So the, basically the video is going to first do everything for 6.8.1 and then move from 6.8.1 to 6.8.2. So if you did see the video, you'll uh, soon know what's what is left out, what's new what you need to do and that's down here this is from 6.8.1 to 6.8.2 so here it is now we first need to be updated to be up to date i mean control alt this is 6.7.1 so if you check out the thunar and you can make it a little bit wider we built this thing at the in April, that is 2018 in April, it doesn't say the day, unfortunately, but let, let's assume it's about 30 days ago. So we need updates. So PKSYUA, how do I remember this? Well, remember the word alias, and this long sentence that I have to remember and type is now this small thing here, which is called an alias. PKSYUA, and then you sit back, and normally you enjoy your updates but this time uh, since the beginning of May and then we're now almost beginning of June there were some issues and you when we find issues when we get issues we put them online so there are always there's always help around somewhere the somewhere is often articlinux.com and in the folder or the menu fixes so we have this as specific problem and we had also the problem of um, lip and so on lip moss yes thing and that's explained then in the forum it was not that difficult just remove a file and then you go check out lop lip moss yes error when updating and then it says hey just delete this thing so you have your resources use them don't start asking on Facebook and, and, and Google Plus and so on uh, because everything is available and if it's not, so we'll put it available, we'll make a video or we'll make a post and everything will be in here like this for instance is also in here. Okay, in the meantime we get our error. So this thing is explained in here. It says do something and actually what you can do is just copy paste, control C Control shift v let's check if there are no typos the last thing is not a zero 
uh, not is a zero and is not an O. And that's okay if you do that. If you type that, that's okay. Updating again, or for resuming updating. As you see, it's four gigabytes. And people on YouTube said, oh, it's crazy, this Arch Linux. Four gigabytes, it's like half of my operating system. Yeah, and updates maybe, but in net upgrade, it's almost nothing. So we are used to it, and people coming from other districts are probably looking, whoa, what's this? But uh, it's all normal, it's all good. And in the end, we have 150 megabytes more updated. So that's peanuts. I better wait for the update to, to come uh, to, to end, and then I'll continue. And now we are at the second error that we received by the end of May. That's why we've made a 6.8.2 to get an ISO that actually does not have all these errors in there. And it's explained here as well. So we have a problem with PAMAC manager will not start and all these strange things happening. The only thing you have to do is get rid of some applications and rebuild them. So this is option one, super quick fix. So I am all for super quick. So control C, what it says here is remove package query and remove PAMAC AUR. That's done and let's type it this time, Ryzen package query back in because it needs to rebuild new libraries and stuff so links are gone and with a rebuild everything is again fixed so that's that we need also PAMAC hour AUR. and that's this one enter 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 trizen is fun that way and it needs a lot of stuff to rebuild. So this is, what, this is what I do on the ISO. I have all this stuff on my PC. I build a package, I give it to you. So you don't have to build it. So all these elements, well, you need to download these dependencies, otherwise you can't build it. There you go. So always after a PKSUA, I always do one again, because you saw the error and it needs to continue install stuff. Now I see Discord passing one of um, uh, our goals or our things with it in 6.8.2 is say, look, we want to have less space on our system. So let's, let's uh, here it is, all the way up, general, we want to be around, it's not specific, but around two gigabytes. And we're now below two gigabytes as size for the Arch Linux ISO. And of course you have to get rid of some things in, in order to achieve that. And one of the things we've done is get rid of Discord. It's still in the Arch Linux Nemesis scripts, meaning if you run those, you get it back in. So that's easy. Uh, LibreOffice is out, Zoom is out, Flash plugin. This is a major, a gain of megabytes and this one as well basically um, but it's those things are not on the ISO anymore okay so that's a way to cut down on size let's wait for everything to finish here so everything updated let's check again if there are any issues so that's what I said here in the, on the website at the bottom. What we always have to do, always have to do is update, update, update. So fine, everything is now up to date. And to get to um, a newer versions, we have to check out the ETC scale. So everything is, is fetched from the internet. Now, before I do that, let's waste, uh, no, don't, let's not waste time. And let's first check what elements we have also add it so there are no updates fine we go to the repositories of Arch Linux repo and then we see we have extra applications that's something we can add we can check out this element here and you'll see in system for instance one two three four five six seven okay seven icons 
And if we add this guy, it's going to add a lot of more information to your system. Article that's awesome and don't need it unless we have the desktop. Awesome. And this is for fun scripting. We are going to add every month a script in this folder. And it's going to be, um, well, hilarious, fun, fun scripting. And then the rest is all activated. We need this one and that one, but this is for 6.8.2. So I'll explain that later, how to get from 6.8.1, if you're already there, to 6.8.2. And this one is for later. So new package, new package, new package, and Slimlock is the last one, or Slim. There you go. So this is all I need to be to have. This one and that one is all I need to have to go from 6.7.1 6.8.1 all right apply commit and details you can also ask the details here why am i asking of saying that because it's the word is there again etc scale is there again so whatever it does whenever whenever you see this line then you say whoop i need to do something and it's basically a very simple very basic Copy paste hidden content from etc scale to your home directory. Okay, that means I have to figure out file system etc scale. And when you have this thing, put it here. Put it here. You're always gonna need it. Second time it will succeed. Okay, succeeded. Control H. Control H. If you forget what it was again, show hidden files. Control A. Control C. Go to your home directory and in here, Control V. Replace all. And everything is now at a level of 6.8.1. Plank is crashing. He hates when we do that. So you quit the thing and say, come on, Plank, do your best. And there he is again. So we have now this um, new version, 6.8.1. What happened? Well, seven icons, and we have here now a little bit more icons. System one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So fifteen icons. One I'm going to use all the time is this one. Rather than typing in the system here, we have some icons that are always never changed. That's it. That's a problem. They never change these icons, and they're not gray and these guys are the guys that don't change but from now discord is behaving it is all in the sadly mono icon theme it doesn't matter what icon theme you have it will always stay the same that's what i mean with a hard coded path for the icons so that's a, a nice and easy fix a, a fix you don't need to go into a terminal and type sudo uh, fix hard coded icons there the, that's not necessary. We have here some audio. You check it out what we changed. That's not the intention of the video. But here you see, best way to see, hey, I am now at 6.8.1. Um, yeah, we have this bin script that's in here as well. So that's fine as well. Now, guessing that that will not work. Yeah. So if we want this to run, we actually need to do but let me check it first what i always do is check these two guys here right mouse click compare and there you are so we need to add this line to that line we need to have the bin folder inside our path must include the bin folder so every application is in there he assumes hey it's, it's just an application to run it's a program to run so that's that and when we now log out, and this is our old logout, remember the word old. So this is going to be changed in something nicer, newer. And then we go, that's 6.8.2 for you. Um, okay, so I was testing out termites, I was testing out if this sysinfo thing works. W control is not found. 
of course we are at 6.7.1 uh, so we need to tell them let's get w wm windows manager control something i don't know you have to remember it and when you install that and rerun it then it knows your xfce or xf windows manager 4. So this is our neat little script that you saw maybe on the on screenshots and you just put it somewhere nice where people can see you take a screenshot done so that's nicer actually i'm gonna pause here and take a screenshot that's nice okay let's continue so that's gone now this this we could call and we could change it just a way of exercise you know how i love to teach if we go to lsb release if we've done all that you can say in all honesty i have 6.8.1 and control t will reveal that to you okay but if you want to go a little bit further then you need to do something more or if you say it's nothing for me, I would just do a clean install. This is too much for me. Everything I'm listening here is, is over the top. Then there is a clean install. So everything is then, uh, well, sets the way it must be set out of your ISO that you download. But if you say, okay, let's give it a try. Then we have, oh, I've closed, I have logged off. I've closed my page. So, Article Linux, hello, all the way down, find all the information, Kirk release, all the way down. Here's the information to get from 6.8.1 to 6.8.2. We've done a second release because of all the issues we've seen the last days and we want to give you an ISO that just works out of the box. We can't foresee the future problems, but we can of course make an ISO that really works today now in the meantime while we were uh, testing out our systems here our 6.8.1 we were already developing three new um, applications two three we, ways to have a more flexible flexibility in the future so these three guys is what's new from 6.8.1 to 6.8.2 so I'm going to put them side by side. I'm going to upgrade. And this is a little bit tricky, meaning don't take a coffee, don't walk away. Stick with your machine. Control C, don't boot, don't reboot. Control Shift V. Oh yeah, there's a uh, Control C. Let's, let's do that again. Let's clear. So if you start from the back to the front, which I'm normally used to, but in here is in the HTML something hidden and a line. So if you start from the beginning to the end, Control C, Control Shift V, then you don't see these number lines. So why is this tricky? Because LightDM is the one providing you uh, a graphical interface. So if you reboot now, everything is broke. We're not going to reboot now. We're going to follow. I hope I did it correctly. I did it again from the end. Yep, no numbers. That's gone. And Control Shift V. And those are the new packages. You see that the word is Article Linux LightDM GDK Greeter. So that's what we created. That's one thing. I'll test the, the three. Uh, later, let's do the copy paste first. So that's out of the way. Best from the beginning to the end. Control Shift V. Obi logout is a goner. And we get our own. So Control C, Control Shift V is what I do. And then this is our new guy. This is the old kit on the block. Control Shift V, bye bye. R stands for remove. And then this one. Control C, Control Shift V. 
and this replaces the guy. An Arch Linux slip package. Okay, that's it. Basically, we can go already very certain of ourselves. Go to etc. You, I know you want to do it. And change it to 6.8.2. Save. Control T. And there we go. We are back in business. 6.8.2. But what did we change? Well, uh, we can see it in fact. Well, the, the locking mechanism. That's this one. Super L. To lock your screen. Right? You can change the themes. Then we also change this, which is our greeter. This is new. This is different, different look. Okay, I hope you like it. This is what we have now as a greeter. And we can switch as always between these guys. And we have here the dates and also what system language we're on. And here we have all the rest. So, we have one thing left to show you when in open box and you press super X, you have these buttons now because, well, that's our Arch Linux package that we have now to log out. And the same applies for locking here, super K, super L works here too. And the new wallpaper, Alt T, trashes the wallpaper. And there you go. We have now a new system. So super, well, yeah, actually this one, uh, I wanted to go to this. Okay, it works fine, just testing. So again, we are back at the website and we are at the very end of our upgrade tutorial. The only things left to tell you is, okay, this, we did this one. Can Conky Arco Elegant, it's a copy paste from ETC Scale. It, you have it. The new scripts, you saw me using it. Uh, tune three new arc themes, it's just a way to select it. It's in user share theme, so it's, uh, it's, it's there. We have XFC action buttons plugin down here, the right button. Um, you find it in XFCE. Python Pywall for the guys who like all these colors. It's more for i3. ESP, WM, awesome. Tiling window managers. Quink system info is there for you guys. This one I can show you on Quink system info. Information if you have a problem and you want to share your hardware on the forum, then you can do so very easily now. Hardcode Fixer, you saw me use this on the video. That there are more XFC settings is clear. Nano coloring, you did not see me do that, but just type, for instance, Control T, sudo nano, the most important file you need to know is this one. You see, you have this beautiful white coloring in 6.7.1. Don't forget, that's what you have basically. So this nano, this um, coloring system, is on your system, not the sudo. So the root has no coloring, but you as a user have colors. So if you do a uh, clean install, then everything is okay. Then this is also in order. Then some custom actions, quite interesting to know. We can check the MD5 sum and SH1 sum. I'm missing the two point the 256 sum so i'll add it next month and some arc linux numix themes we are at open box so we can activate it here and uh, rofi themes is for everybody meaning this one or that one that's the choice we can have or this one and then select whatever theme you want to have so that's all there nothing to do it's just use it and then this is just the future. We'll talk about the future later. But we are uh, working on a way to build your own ISO, meaning that you can have an Arch Linux ISO XFC. You can build it or you can download it or an 
Arch Linux B, Openbox, i3, awesome, Plasma. So, you know, we have an, an ISO available for every possible desktop you can think of. So that's one of our goals. So we can, uh, you can build it, we can build it, and we have an ISO of every desktop. Wouldn't that be nice? So that's that. That's the future. What's go, the future going to bring? We've done all the updating and the upgrading, and I'm out. Enjoy Arch Linux.